Hey, what's up everybody? This is John with Home Sports. Today we're going to be doing a jack repair for this model Dominator hoop. Uh, we're going to start by mounting the bottom bracket. The bottom bracket is the one that's larger. So it has three screws across the top and across the bottom, as opposed to the one that has only four screws, two on the top and two on the bottom. And what we're going to use is the self tapper screws that we will include in the shipment. What we'll use is the impact driver. This will make sure that we could drill the holes with the self tapping screws most efficiently. Um, and all we want to do is we want to offset the bracket, not put it center, because when we put up the jack, we need room for this to crank. So if you put it in the center, it's gonna hit, hit the hoop. So we're just going to line it up here. For the first screw, you're just going to mark it. Just mark it. And then you can drill. These screws drill themselves, but you have to apply quite a bit of pressure. Once you get it so it starts drilling in there and the holes all the way through, you, you can put the bracket up. And wait to tighten it all the way down so you can make sure you get another point in there. You just want to do any corner ones. Make sure the two corners are, are tightened down. And then just screw them in. Okay, our next step is we're going to mount the top bracket. And again, we want to offset it so that it lines up with the bottom bracket. And um, if you have a jack, if you have a basketball hoop with these old springs, you want to put it right up to the top of this spring and right up to this where the anchor is. So then we'll mark it. It is a smart idea to wear safety goggles as this is metal. You want to try to line it up straight as best you can. And tighten that first bolt, first screw in there. And then you can start on the second screw. Our next step to, is to place the jack. We're going to place it on the bottom bracket first and let it kind of hang at an angle. So you want to take your long bolt. There is two different sizes of bolts. You want to take the long one, remove the nut off of it and the washer. and place it in and the washer is there as a spacer just in case 
you have wiggle room. If it can fit, then we want to definitely put it in. We don't want it wiggling as much. And we can let the jack hang like that while we tighten it up. Oh, wrong side. For this, there is two different sides, sizes for the bolt and the nut. And so you wanna pick, it doesn't matter which side you use to tighten it, but choose a tool and on the other end, you're going to use a adjustable wrench or crescent wrench to hold it while you tighten it. So I have the adjustable wrench right here on this side and the drill on this side. And we want it tight enough where this can still pivot, but not too tight. Our next step is to crank this up so that it matches this. Once you get it so the holes line up, you're going to take your short nut and bolt and you want to slide it in. And we'll tighten it the same way. Our next step is to remove this bolt right here. So basically, it's resting on the jack that's already in here, and we're gonna release it so that it can be resting on this jack. And so it'll be able to adjust up and down from this jack. So what you wanna do is use an Allen wrench and fit it in there. And on the other side, we're gonna loosen it with a ratchet and take the nut off. And we want to hammer this through. And when it gets flush, we're going to use a crowbar or any type of peg to punch that out. If it's difficult to take this out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna crank it up a slight bit and pull it out. That relieves the pressure off of the jack in here and puts it onto the pressure in here. Now we can crank it up to 10 feet. What we're gonna do, if you don't have the decals on the side of your hoop, to tell you if it's at 10 feet, 
what you want to do is measure from the front of your rim to the plank surface, and it should be 10 feet. 